there is probably no greater pain in life than for a parent to bury their own child. This is the same child that you carried in your room for nine months, the same child that you would rock to sleep at night to comfort them. This is the same child that when they have nightmares, they come into your bed at night to be comforted. This is the same child that you watch take their first step or speak their first words. The reality is that children should bury their parents, not the other way around. And yet in John 19, we see Jesus looking down at the foot of the cross as he locks eyes with his mother one last time. And no doubt she is in shock and she is dealing with pain and excruciating agony as she has watched evil, wicked men beat her very own baby boy within one breath of his life. And at this point in Jesus' humanity, you would have expected him to to want to cry out to his mother just one last time, Mama, Mama, help me, help me. And yet we see Jesus doing something very, very different. In the midst of Jesus' greatest pain, we see Jesus more concerned about Mary, his mother, than he is about his own pain. He looks at her at the foot of the cross and says, Mama, it's okay because I've already gone before you and I've already made plans for John, the apostle whom I loved, to take care of you because I've got to go. I'm going to die, but John is going to be your son now. He's going to take care of you whenever I leave. And then he switches his attention. He looks over at John and says, John, this is now your mother. I'm placing her into your care for you to take care of my mother. There's a few lessons that I want to lift from this third saying today. Lesson number one is to make plans for your death. Now, I know that sounds a bit morbid and none of us want to think about death, but what we should be thinking about is modeling what Jesus did here. No doubt Jesus put thought into what was going to happen after he died. He started to think about, okay, this is my mother. Who is going to care for her the way I'm caring for her? Who is going to take care of her? The assumption in history is that Jesus' father, Joseph, has now passed away. And so Jesus is now thinking about how he can make provisions and go before and anticipate his death and who was going to take care of his mom. And let all of us take the same precautions as we begin to think, look, I'm not immortal. I could be here today and gone today. So what plans can I make to make sure that those who I love and who love me are well taken care of? Here's a second very, very important lesson is that we need to make sure that we are not so consumed with our own pain that we miss the pain of other people. You see, Jesus could have easily been so consumed and so self-absorbed with his own struggle, his own pain, the things that he was dealing with on the cross, that he completely missed and ignored the pain that Mary was going through. And yet in the midst of his deepest pain, he was still thinking about someone else. For some of us, we get so wrapped up in our own world. We get so wrapped up in our own circumstance, our own pain, our difficulties in life, our strains, our stresses, our marital stress, the difficulties that we're going in our relationships with our children, financially, physically, that there are people around us who might be dealing with pain in their own lives, but we aren't able to see it because we're so consumed with what we're going through that we cannot even come out of ourselves, out of our situation and minister to other people who might be going through pain as well. No doubt there are people around you right now who are dealing with a physical pain. They're dealing with relational pain. They're dealing with mental health pain. They're dealing with financial pain. But because we're wrapped up in our own situation, we don't even realize it. So I pray that we would ask God to give us a sensitivity to be able to see and empathize with the pain and the struggles and the hurts of those around us. Here's the third lesson, is that we need to make sure that we're intentional about caring for other people in the midst of their pain. So now we're gonna divert our attention from Jesus to John because Jesus now says to John, he says, John, from this point forward, as I transition, I am giving you the responsibility to care for my mother. And whenever you and I see other people who are dealing with pain, 
Maybe they're dealing with loss. Maybe they're dealing with a financial pain, a physical pain, or whatever type of pain they're dealing with. May we be sensitive to actually tangibly, practically show our concern for them and take care of their deepest needs, just as John was going to do for Jesus' mother, Mary. So I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know what type of pain that you might be dealing with in your life, but I pray that we would not be so self-absorbed that as God places other people around us who are also hurting, maybe even to a greater degree than we are, that we would just for a moment come out of our struggle and out of our pain so that we can be able to assess and discern what type of pain they're dealing with and actually tangibly minister to other people in the midst of their deepest pain.